And I'm gonna give a little bonus um, unexpected benefit here because this one is something I'm still looking into and kind of just figuring out whether this is gonna be continuing through the season or not. And that is my... Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Primal Genetics. In today's video, we're gonna be going over my week five review of doing a keto raw diet. And I'm also going to be going over five things that I experienced that I did not expect doing the keto raw diet. So without wasting any too much time, <laughs> without wasting too much time, let's just get straight into it. So over the past week, I have lost another two kilos. So I'm now measuring in at 108.3 kilos. My original start weight was 119 kilos. So in five weeks, lost just over 10 kilos, feeling good, feeling great. Um, any weight loss plan, any plan where you, you lose that amount of weight, your body just starts to feel better. There's just no two ways about it. But for me, doing a keto raw diet has been especially good because like I've said in all the previous videos, the two things that have really, really made this one the best for me and super easy is by doing keto, I haven't had no cravings. The cravings have really, really gone down. So my want to eat, eat different foods or try to you know, calm down my hunger pangs, it's just not been there. I just haven't had those hunger pangs. And also secondly, which is something I'm gonna go into a little bit later, um, having great energy. So these are the two things I felt really, really have made it so super easy for me to continue and follow through and just feeling amazing at the moment. Like I said, lost over 10 kilos now. So um, just the beginning, I keep saying it, but we're gonna keep going because I have a major vision for where I want my body to be. I wanna really try and push this and get to a, nice, a lean body uh, fat and see where I can go doing a keto raw diet. So like I said earlier, I also want to talk about five things that I did not expect to experience doing this keto raw diet. Let's get into number one, my sleep. My sleep has been so, so good. Now, I'm not the worst sleeper in the world. I, I, I know that I'm the kind of person that can go to bed and I'll be out like a light. So it actually wasn't the actual going to sleep that was the problem. What I experienced was getting up in the morning, I felt more rested. I felt way more rested. In the past, I would have long sleeps, deep sleeps, and get up and still feel tired. Now, I'm not sure if this is a product of just my energy levels in the day, because I've always said my energy levels in the day have been so good, so maybe, you know, it's just the diet overall giving me this feeling, but when I get up in the morning, I have felt really, really ready to go up. I've got that bounce in my step. I'm ready to take on the day, and so, that has been a really, really good feeling, waking up in the morning and feeling like I've got energy to take on the day. There's nothing worse than getting up and feeling like the first thing you need to do is actually go back to bed, <laughs> which is a common, common feeling. I've felt that many a time myself and I'm sure you guys have yourself. So sleep for me, the, I felt almost straight away. Two weeks in, I already felt like I was getting up in the day, getting up in the morning, sorry, and really, really feeling like I was ready to take on the day. So sleep has been a really, really good one for me. Second my joints. I always make this joke with my friends that as soon as you turn 30, you wake up with an injury. <laughs> it just seems to be, the older we get, obviously, the more injury and stiffness we get. And obviously, stretching and, um, you know, just doing exercises that make you looser will help and aid in terms of your flexibility and how you feel generally in your joints. But without really adding any flexibility work, my joints have felt so much better. My elbow joints and my and my uh, knee joints especially. Now, I have been exercising. I've been adding exercising now. And so usually when I add in exercise, I tend to feel my joints stiffen up a little bit more. Uh, I have been doing more body weight exercises. So we'll see if this remains as I go on and start to uh, use the gym for workouts. But so far, really, it's been it's been amazing, the feeling of just a bit more suppleness, just my joints feel more supple. I feel I'm able to squat deeper without any pain. My elbows, like I said, feel great. So uh, the, the, the lack of joint stiffness and joint pain has really been a nice feeling. Thirdly, my memory. <laughs> my memory recall has significantly improved. The one thing I'm terrible with is with, with names. Names, for whatever reason, I am terrible with mem mem memorizing names. You can tell me your name if I've just met you and literally 10 seconds later, I'm doing everything I can to avoid having to say your name because I've forgotten it. <laughs> I'm terrible with names. Faces, I'm amazing with. I remember faces years later, but names, for whatever reason, I'm terrible with names. And I have slowly, 
I'm not gonna try to say I'm Einstein all of a sudden, but I've definitely noticed an increase in me being able to recall names and a few other things, just memorizing where I've been or things I've done and from further back. And so memory wise, I've seen a significant increase. That could also be, that could also be linked to the sleep where because I'm sleeping better, maybe having better quality sleep as well, uh, that's aiding my memory and my recall. So I think, like I, I believe with a lot of health, um, things are connected. So if you sleep well, you're probably gonna get better memory. You're probably gonna burn more fat through the night because you know all your systems are working properly. So I really, have really seen that my memory and my recall have definitely improved and that's been an unexpected benefit of me doing a keto raw diet now fourthly if you are of a sensitive disposition when it comes to toilet talking about going to the toilet uh you might want to skip to the next one but this is one i really want to talk about my experience going to the toilet has drastically changed drastically changed like i was this guy I'm, i'll keep it real with you guys i was that guy if i went to the toilet before you <laughs> just forget about it <laughs> forget about it it was an explosion in there you wouldn't be able to go there for at least a couple a few minutes just to say the least let's just uh, let's say at least 20 30 minutes you probably want to leave that toilet alone i you, you don't want to go in after me so when i say to you now i mean the best way i can describe it is my my toilet is almost scentless. Not I wouldn't go scentless fully, of course not. Like there's still there's still there's still a smell, but it has been greatly, greatly, greatly reduced. And this is something I've actually had to look up and read about. And I've noticed a lot of people that do carnivore, especially, have spoken about how um, their toilet experience has changed so much. The smell has gone down gr drastically, and also the ease at which it kind of basically comes out has also increased. It's super easy, you, you barely have to push, it comes out and it's a very, very clean finish. It's a very, very clean finish. My overall toilet experience has been mind-blowing to me, absolutely mind-blowing. And it'd be interesting to see if this has been the experience for anybody else watching this video um, after doing a carnival. I, like I said in my first video, if you go back to my first ever carnival video, I told you the uh, my toilet experience was very explosive to say the least. I think my gut was just uh, getting used to um, the higher fat um, diet, obviously not having any vegetables, uh, not having any fiber, traditional fiber. I think my gut was getting used to that idea and the first week was explosive. But since then, oh my goodness, it has changed so much. It has literally, I, I don't, uh, also the bulk of my stool is not as much, it's, it's, it's much less, but easy, it comes out easily and the smell is almost non-existent. It's unbelievable what's happened with that one. So this is an unexpected, really, really massive, unexpected benefit of doing the keto raw diet so well, far. My number five unexpected benefit, I've alluded to in most videos, but I really, really believe that it was, it's been at a level that I did not expect, and that is my energy. My energy levels have just been through the roof. I talk about it in most videos, but I just gotta say one more time, my energy levels have been fantastic. When you do the keto raw diet, you will feel full of energy you will be able to keep going and keep going and also keep going without feeling hungry and without feeling like you need to eat and many a time like i've said i've had to, i've come to my meals and i'm eating because it's time for me to eat not because you know i feel hungry i feel starved and so that's been a really 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 unexpected benefit i i had heard that you do get a a consistent energy when doing keto i just didn't expect it to be on the level that it is so that for me was really really unexpected and uh something i'm very much loving and i'm gonna give a little bonus um unexpected benefit here because this one is something i'm still looking into and kind of just figuring out whether this is going to be continuing through the season or not and that is my allergies this year my allergies have been greatly reduced i am an 11 out of 10 allergy sufferer. <laughs> I have been my whole life. I was that kid who would do my exams in the summertime and have like a tissue roll on my table because I was struggling. My nose would always be running, my eyes were itching and it was this awful. We are now in early March, which by now I'm well into suffering. I usually start my suffering in February where I already, any, any kind of pollen increase and I'm already involved. Tissues everywhere, eye scratching, eye drops, nose sprays, I do it all. Um, anybody, you ask anybody in my family, they'll, know, they'll tell you I am the worst heavy sufferer they know. And so far this year, like I said, usually by this time, I'm already six weeks of suffering. I have had probably, I would say maximally 10% of the suffering I usually, I usually go through when it comes to hay fever. 
So as a little bonus, I'm putting this one in there. I'm gonna be analyzing it over the next month or so. And if this continues, I'll definitely be making a video as to um, how my allergies have been and where where they are and if this has been associated with me doing a keto full diet. I'm very excited by this. I've got to say, I'm very, very excited by this potential uh, unexpected benefit, but I want to give it some more time and see where it takes me. And then if, if it is a positive, you'll definitely be hearing from me about this one. So yeah, that's my review for the keto full week five. Like I said, if you want to see my body transformation, please check my week four video where I put uh, some before and afters there. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the comment section down below. Please like this video and share this video. I think, I think this is a diet that can be really, really beneficial for many, many, many people. And I just want to spread the word. I already, I can already see that I'm going to be doing um, the keto raw diet for, for, for a while to come because if these are the benefits I felt after five weeks, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in the future. So please like and subscribe. Like I said, comment down below any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer and uh, see you next week.